Hey, Jennifer, I know these new daisy centers. Aren't these fabulous? Okay, let's get started here with a couple of things. So first of all, this is the project that we're making. And we are in pre-order season time for demonstrators. I don't say it often enough. Being a demonstrator is just more fun. We get everything first. We are in the know. If you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up! and you want to join the Kitchenettes, exciting things are happening in the Kitchenettes. Um, we've got some really great team members that are um, interacting. We've got creative challenges and a swap that's going on for the pre-order. We just really have a lot of fun together. So if you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up! and you're curious about what it's like to be a demonstrator or to join the Kitchenettes, please reach out and, um, and we can talk about it. It's awesome to be a demonstrator, all right? So marissa at kitchentablestamper.com is where you can always email me, message me through Facebook if you like. Um, I am not uh, always notified about Facebook messages, so reach out again if you've tried to get me through Facebook. Gina's seen these before, but mine's way cuter. I assume that's the diaper fold that you're talking about. I um, have seen them everywhere, but I've never really liked them until I got it in my head that when you put one of these daisies on anything, it's really awesome. Um, and then let's see here. Delene says diaper folds are a big seller at craft fairs. I've never made them for craft fairs, but I'm going to start now. All right, so this is the project. We've talked about how we're in pre-order right now, so let's talk a little bit about the products, and then I'm gonna do a little housekeeping stuff at the end. I got some really cute stuff to show you, like off right over here. I don't know if you guys see the corner of this. There's a class up here, some stuff that we'll talk about, but first, because we're talking pre-order, I wanna show you the project, the products for this project, okay? Uh, Kathy says, Angie Judo is having trouble seeing her Facebook. That's it. And I had no problem last week, just this week. Um, I hate having the computer here because I have to pause and kind of lean over and look. It's making me crazy. But we'll keep doing it. It's I need to interact with you guys. I need to see the comments to do that. Hi, Barbara. Kathy says... She loves doing that diaper fold. Well, we're going to do it today, and we're going to do it with this brand new um, woven threads designer series paper. I pulled off this pattern. That's the one I want to play with here. But let me show you the other patterns really quick. Only demonstrators can get this one right now. It's coming in the new 2019-2020 um, annual catalog. So I cut these down to 6 by 6 because they're part of the prize, the goodie bag for Stampin' Bingo. Stampin' Bingo is May 24th at 6 p.m. in my Rolling Meadows home studio. All local adult, adult crafters are welcome. You need to RSVP with your payment of $30 for Stampin' Bingo. First RSVPs with payment will be accommodated and seats are very limited. So um, just get that out there. This is the first project that I'm going to share for Stampin' Bingo. What happens is we come in and we play a game of bingo and then we do a craft. This will be our first craft. Play another game of bingo, do a second craft. There's three crafts, four games of bingo, and so this is this is the first project. Linen threads or woven thread designer series paper. I cut it down to six by six. In the catalog you can get it as 12 by 12. You'll get a six by six pack like this um, in your goodie bag. At bingo. So this is the pattern that I'm using today. Backside. There's another one. I love these almost solid patterns. And the back are kind of a damask. Here, let's flip those. This one, I love this pattern. And this pattern makes me kind of queasy. <laughs> we'll be doing a lot of this one on cards and stuff. But this one is a little... Otherwise, every pattern in this pack makes me very happy. I really was so pleasantly surprised, and it features all the new ink colors. So that's Woven Threads Designer Series paper. I've also got just scraps here. I've got um, Pear Pizzazz and Sahara Sand. And then this piece, I think the measurement is kind of important. It's gonna be on the um, project sheet. You need a five and a half by two and three quarters piece for your daisies. And I'll show you why that kind of works out as we get stampin'. And then for the diaper fold itself, this is a six by six piece of woven thread. 
woven thread, right? Keep wanting to call it linen thread. I've got Ghirardelli squares, but this is great for little fun size candies like um, M&M's or Hershey's. It's also good for tea bags. There's lots of little things that'll fit in there. I have my linen thread, speaking of, and then my perennial essence floral centers. Now, I ordered these on the pre-order knowing that either I was going to love them and they were going to be brilliant or they were going to be cheap and ugly. And so I took a chance and got them and they are brilliant. I think that they are just the perfect finishing touch. So there's 18 in a pack and they're coming in the next catalog. Um, they're just the best embellishment. I don't think I'll ever be able to put a daisy on anything anymore without the little um, perennial essence floral centers. My Stampin' Pads are Pretty Peacock and Seaside Spray. So we're getting a sneak peek at the new In Colors, 2019, 2021 In Colors. Oh my gosh, 2021, I can't even believe I just said that. So those are the, the Stampin' Pads we're gonna use for this project. My uh, punches, I've got the Leaf Punch. If you don't have this one, you should have it. The Daisy Punch, another one. If you don't have it, you should have it coordinates with the Daisy Delight stamp set. But let me give you a little spoiler alert here and pause in case somebody doesn't want to know. The 2019-2020 annual catalog has a brand new Daisy bundle with a medium Daisy punch, so smaller than this one, and a new stamp set that coordinates with both this punch and the new medium Daisy punch that's coming. So the Daisies are going to be very prominent here in the new Stampin' year. You're going to have lots of temptation. And then very simply, another sneak peek. I've got the free as a bird bundle. This will be available to you um, to order June 3rd, 4th maybe. And the free as a bird bundle, we're going to use the little thank you greeting. You can substitute that, of course. But the brand new nested labels, stitch nested labels. I love these. And that's what we're going to use for our little tag. All right, so those are our supplies. Let's see what kind of comments we have here. Oh, Jennifer says she ordered three on her product premiere purchase. Okay, so Jennifer, the product premiere purchase was for the one that people went to on stage, right? Um, and you could get three packages of these for your order limit because I did not go to on stage this time and my order limit was one and it's making me absolutely crazy to have to wait for it. Um, I've been asking Kitchenettes if they would order their limit one for me. It's crazy. They have just are going so fast around here. I put them on everything. All right. Let's do the project, and then I'm going to bring in a couple other things. I got the goodie bags for bingo here, the other two crafts that we're going to make, and um, paper and ink card class to share with you. So stick around after the project because I got some really nice crafty eye candy sitting over here. Um, yes. Oh, see, I should have gone to on stage. That's why you go to on stage, people, because then you can get more perennial essence flower centers. Flower centers? No, they're called floral centers. That's awkward. Perennial essence floral centers. If you're not a demonstrator, you just got to wait a little bit longer. It's coming soon. All right, so let's start with our, our project here. I'm going to do this diaper fold in case you're not familiar with it first. And it's really a simple fold. You're gonna have a designer series paper where you like both sides and they're well coordinated. And then you have to decide which pattern will be inside and which will be out. And for me, I'm gonna go with a little bit busier pattern on the inside. So you're gonna fold your inside pattern in diagonal point to point. Pretty simple, just wanna burnish it with a bone folder. Then next up, you're gonna bring across the point, so the point to the edge, and burnish that down. This is such a simple fold. It's been around forever. I don't think I'm teaching you anything new, but hopefully I'm showing you a fun new way to use it. And then you'll do, again, bring the point up all the way to that little corner against the fold, and then burnish down. Lastly, 
got this little dude right here. You're going to fold down this triangle here and then reveal that inside pattern. And you've got this little pocket that you've just made. I like to kind of roll it open a little bit. It's pretty secure. But we're going to go ahead from here and do a little stamping now. Set the little pocket aside. And I need my stamp and pierce mat because Daisy Delight is photopolymer. Let's get our stamping pads here. I'm looking at the comments. Oh, it doesn't look like you guys are too chatty. I'm not missing much, not getting my comments. Oh, I feel so, I feel like I'm flying blind. It's a gorgeous day here. We've finally got a spring day. All right, so Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock are my stamping pads. And I'm going to ink up my Daisy from Daisy Delight with the Seaside Spray and ink it on Seaside Spray cardstock. Now, something that you might know or you might not know, when you're stamping with the Daisy and you're going to punch it out, you want to stamp so that you've got a true north-south, east-west. You don't want to stamp so that you've got like um, how would I put that? Like a V. Do you see? This is no. This is yes. This is no. This is yes. And that will make your punching so much easier. So we've got that north, true north, south, east, west. And we're going to stamp two of these seaside spray on seaside spray. I love the seaside spray. It's such a beautiful color. All right, then we're going to pull aside the pretty peacock for a minute here. We're done with seaside spray. I need a big shot real quick. We're gonna do some tiny bit of die cutting. Let's get this guy out of here. I'm going to throw my Sahara sand scrap on the platform and we're going to take the not smallest little stitched label, but we're going to take the second size. And you'll notice that these dies have a cut line down the center and stitches on the inside and outside. So what that means for you is these are perfect for frames and windows because not only are you going to get that stitching on the cutout, but you're also going to get it on the negative space that's left behind after the cutting. So see, here's the little label with the stitches, but you can also see that the piece that we cut it out of is stitched. So that is now a perfect window. If you got a bigger size frame, you can cut that out and then make a little stitched um, element. Right. Then, a little bit more stamping. I've got my tag here and my pretty peacock. And we're going to stamp thank you, but a little bit off to the right because we're going to make it into a tag. So we need to punch a hole in the top. I am so impressed with how this cling mount stamp stamps this greeting has been perfect every single time i've used it it's not been too wide it's not been too thick it just the stamps gorgeous all right let's bring our sample back in so you guys can see what we're doing and the one that we're working on is here and let's get some punching done now our little daisies are all done and ready and i've lost my daisy punch all right so here's why so do you see when we're looking at the orientation of our daisy punch, we've got that true north, south, east, west. So what that means is when we slide this dude into the punch, it's so easy to line it up and punch it. If you had stamped with that um, open, that like V shape at the bottom, you'd be trying to twist the punch to get those two down and then you'd catch the corner of the paper it can be it can be bad trust me it could be bad all right then these two little guys on this little two and three quarters by five and a half inch scrap 
You can get two daisies really easy. I am so in love. Ooh, we're punching. Let's keep punching. I'm going to punch my leaves from Pear Pizzazz. Pear almost done crafting already, people. This is crazy how quick these are. But you need quick projects with lots of impact for bingo because it's a busy, busy night. We're going to play four games of bingo, do three awesome crafts. So they've got to be somewhat speedy. All right, so you'll see I rolled the petals. I rolled them away from the stamp image. Now I'm going to roll them towards the center. Kathy says, great tip. Why, thank you, Kathy. Can you tell I learned the hard way? <laughs> All right, so there's my two daisies. Important that they're um, rolled because that's what gives them this, you know, awesome life. Got a little multi-purpose liquid glue for the center. A little bit goes a long way, and then you just want to alternate the petals. Give that adhesive just a second to set, and I'm going to cut a little tiny 1 8 inch hole for my tag. Isn't that the perfect tag? Get that 1 8 inch hole punch while supplies last. They're on retirement. I think I just saw a thumbs up. All right, now, linen thread, simple. We're just gonna tie a quick little bow. Well, if I'm honest, it's not the littlest bow. I, I got a little, um, my loops are a little big, but I liked the look of it. So we're gonna tie kind of a medium sized linen thread bow. All righty. If you hold the center of your knot and pull the tail, you can adjust the size of your loops without unraveling your whole bow. If you've been tying bows for a while, you might know that, but. All right, cute little tag, right? Now, where are we gonna go next? I think we need to go to the Perennial Essence Floral Centers. These are just I don't know, I had this feeling that they'd be kind of funny looking or um, look cheap, but they don't at all. They have this realistic look to them. They're a great color. They're not as um, pale as Daffodil Delight, but they're not as rich and even maybe brownish as Crushed Curry. They're um, kind of in between. And then I need a little mini glue dot. I'm going to put that mini glue dot on the end of this thank you tag and then just add my tag to the flower. Now my little leaf here, I want just a bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the stem and then I'm actually going to tuck it into the flower and I want it to kind of stick out behind my, my tag. But I want to see a lot of the leaves, so I'm going to fiddle with it for a second here. I love that. All right, now let's get some candy in our little pouch. And I need a regular Stampin' Dimensional, like a big one. And I'm just going to pop that on the back of my daisy. Pop my daisy. On my little diaper fold treat and there they are that's it can you believe it that's it all right so there is our first craft for bingo a fun little project anybody want to see what else we're making at bingo oh I see little hearts you guys like that <laughs> all right so let's just show a couple other bingo teasers here. If you're on the fence about bingo, if you live local, then you'll want to get off the fence because um, half of the spots are spoken for and then just waiting for a couple of payments. I know that we're gonna fill all seats. So this is a little peek at our goodie bag. Goodie bag is features woven threads and the cardstock bases. 
I'll add more things to it depending on how many people sign up for bingo. So that's our goodie bag. You can get a brand new catalog with your goodie bag. And there's your first craft over here. All right, you guys wanna see the other crafts? Let's see here. Barbara said they're so cute. Kathy said so adorable. Thank you, ladies. Are you ready for this one? So bingo is May 24th. So we're still going to be in the current catalog selling period, but I'm gonna have a room full of um, my swap cards and, and samples that I've made and products, but we're not going to be current in the new catalog yet. So I've been trying to walk a line with the bingo projects that'll inspire um, with what we currently have available while we look forward to some of the new stuff. So we're gonna do this adorable little treat bag and we'll also be doing this adorable little money holder envelope. And I'll do videos for these for any who are not local and can't attend bingo. Don't worry, videos are coming for both of these. And so this little dude is the new host set with the retiring swirly scribbles swirly scribbles dies retiring very vanilla polka dot the retiring tea room designer series paper if you don't have those retiring items our leaf punch again you might want to get those and then it's the perfect little holder for a gift of cash or check so that's project number two and then project number three the Love You to Pieces bundle is carrying over into the new catalog, but the bundle discount will be gone June 3rd. So if you wait for the new catalog, you'll pay 10% more. So I thought that'd be a good bundle to feature for this event. And we're also featuring the gift board, gift bag punch board to make this fun little bag. Those are retiring. If you haven't picked it out already, this is brand new designer series paper from the Free as a bird sweet, bird ballad sweet. I don't know what the sweet's called yet. I'll get there, I promise. So those are the projects for bingo. Uh, let's see here. I see lots of cutes and lots of adorables. Thank you very much. All right, so get your RSVPs in for bingo. And for those of you who are not loco, I have another um, free class opportunity. So last month, I had offered a free class by mail. Those are going out today. I've printed off labels and packed them all up. They're gonna go out. We did paper and ink cards last month for free. It'll get delivered right to your door automatically. We're gonna do it again in May. So when you use the host code and you shop with me, kitchen or marissaalvarez.stampinup.net, $50 or more, and use the host code here, I will send you the paper and ink card class for May, absolutely free. So if you see some products that I've featured here, it's all retirement party stuff. So lemon zest and the lemon builder. I'm gonna pick up some of these things that I used, $50 purchase, I'll send you the card class for free. So there's card number one. This one is one of my very favorite retiring stamp sets. I love that little typewriter. Okay, that's card number two. Card number three. Oh, who else is gonna miss the jar of love? Anybody else gonna miss the jar of love? Here's our jar of love, you light up my life card. And then, I'm ashamed to say it, but this is the first time I've put ink on my Treehouse Adventure stamp set. All right, so there's the four cards and the host code. If you are local in the Chicago area and you wanna join me for paper and ink cards, I would love to see you. Um, paper and ink cards is open for registration now. Just email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and class is the 27th at 6.30. All right, so that's paper and ink card class and it is yours absolutely free with a $50 purchase, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. All right, let's see if I can see any more comments here because they're still not showing up on my phone. Um, 
Carol says, sorry, I'm late. No problem, Carol. It will be um, left on Facebook and um, archived on the blog. You can catch up. Here's what we made. These fun little diaper fold treats. Uh, let's see here. Carol says she'll be keeping the jar of love. Me too. I, they're just, it's such a good stamp set. Good for craft fairs too. And you guys know, if you know me, you know that craft fairs are my, are my bag. Let's see. Carol says cute. Sharon says adorable. Thank you ladies so much. I'm going to, um, leave this video up here on Facebook. The project sheet is done for this except for, um, taking a quick picture. So I'll photograph it and get that on the blog for you. Uh, let's see here. There's information already about bingo, kitchentablestamper.com, and I've updated kitchentablestamper.com slash calendar with um, what I've got ready of what's coming up on the local Chicago area calendar. All right, if you guys need anything at all, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com, or um, if you want to shop, treat yourself to some great stuff uh, before they're gone like Treehouse Adventure, Jar of Love, P.S. You're the Best, or Lemon Zest. You can shop at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.